Hi friends, Pastor Dave here for our evening devotional, Something Deeper. It's Sunday, and today we talked about how God wants us to remember the good things that he's done for us. And I had somebody comment on the li live stream afterwards that I need to remember to remember more. And I think I like that attitude, because when we go to God's word, it should be to think about what do we need to do that we're not doing? Or what do we need to stop doing that we are doing? We should be going to the Bible to see what changes God wants to make in our life. And if you do that, you'll be blessed. So James 1.22 says, Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. So when we read the Bible, it shouldn't be uh, just to feel good. It shouldn't be just to satisfy curiosity or get some more ammunition for the next argument that we're into. When we read the Bible, it should be to confront ourselves and to look at our lives and say, does what I do in my life match up to what God has called me to do? That's not really always comfortable because change can be hard. And, and the truth is all of us need, need to change. All of us need to become more like Jesus. And so when you read the Bible, it should confront you and you should be thinking, am I doing this? Am I doing what this is talking about today? And, and if you're not, your attitude should be, then I've got to change. But so often we are rebels to the core. Not only do we want to do what we want to do, but when somebody tells us not to, we want to do it even more, just because it's forbidden. I have a neighbor who, who once asked if they could use our pool, and we said, sure, you know. We were going away on a week, and they said, can we jump in your pool while, while you're gone? And we said, sure. And uh, he later admitted to me that he had jumped in the pool before he had asked uh, one other time. But he said after we gave permission, the thrill was gone. <laughs> because sometimes we're just rebels. And we like to do what we're told not to do. But you know, for a follower of Jesus, if we love God and trust him, then shouldn't we be reading his word with an eye towards, God, what are you calling us to? Not because we're saved by doing good works. Our salvation depends on God's grace, not on our good works. But we are saved to do good works. Good works should result from our salvation. And, and the way James puts it, but whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom, we don't normally think of a law that gives freedom, but good laws do give freedom. Good laws give you safeguards and guardrails to keep you from danger so that within those laws you know that you're safe. And so we need to look intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continue in it. Reading God's Word, not forgetting what we've heard, but doing it. Why do we do that if our salvation doesn't depend on it? Because he says they will be blessed in what they do. Do you trust God? If you do, do you trust his word? Of course you do. And so when his word says, this is what you ought to do, why would we say no? As Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do what I say? It's not that we have to do it out of fear, that somehow God will get us if we don't, or that there's no forgiveness left. But if we want to be blessed and we trust God, and we know that he wants the best for us, why would we ever disobey his word? So let's not just be hearers of the word. Let's do it. And let's pray. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful day. Thank you for the rain that we've enjoyed lately. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you bring each day. Father, I pray that we would recognize blessings are found only in you. And we want to read your word to find out what we should do because 
Lord, you are the only one with abundant life. You give us that abundant life. And Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I love you all, and I hope you're blessed today. And uh, we're praying for many of you, and I hope the best for every one of you. God bless. <laughs>